Boxing King Media, powered by BYD, with Justice Hooney. Uh, how are things, mate? Um, I'm guessing the sun's still out in Australia. It's uh, it's snowing here. Yeah, yeah, it's still uh, it's very hot here. Uh, during the days and stuff. So, yeah, I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fight coming up in a few weeks. So, uh, just yeah, you know, putting the final the finishing touches onto my preparation and uh, getting ready to get back out there again. Good stuff, man. Uh, just out of curiosity, do you ever get snow in Australia? Nah. Oh, there's there's like uh, a couple of spots um, around Australia that do get snow, but no, nah, not where I'm from. Uh, never ever see snow. Like even the winters here is like still like summer. It's still very warm uh, and beautiful weather. Yeah, that's a shame. We don't get that. Um, so yeah. you're fighting at the Fortitude Music Hall again. Uh, I see that venue a lot. You know, when I look at Australian fight cards, there's a lot of shows that have happened there. I know Jaya Pataya, yeah. all the top uh, Australian <laughs> guys. Yeah, I think it's like a, a main, um, uh, like venue that Tasman Fighters uses. The, um, I love it in there because it's very small and um, they have this like top balcony where like. Um, the fans can, you know, watch from the top. So it's uh, very, it gets very loud in there, and the atmosphere is awesome. Is it like uh, the your call comparison? What? Uh, the, how's that? The, the your call. Have you seen the your call in London? It's no, got, no, I haven't. Is that small, compact, really? Hot? Yeah, yeah. It's probably it's probably very similar. Very yeah. similar. But I love fighting in there, right? Eh? Just just based off the the energy and the atmosphere, it gets so loud in there, eh? So yeah, I love fighting in there. What what are the changing rooms like compared to like you've obviously just fought in Riyadh and Riyadh season? Yeah. The big luxurious changing rooms, your sofas. What the uh, oh, I'd say they're around the same size or smaller. Mm -hmm. Uh it just depends on what room you get. In some rooms are like uh really small rooms and then like they usually give like the main event fighters these big rooms and stuff. So uh yeah, it's it's very similar. Not too much different. Okay. So uh you you're obviously Connor Wallace is on the card as well. You know, you're fighting yeah. a guy called Leandro Rabuti who his record like is about almost fifty fifty. Yeah. Um obviously yeah. On paper, it looks like a big step down, you know, considering where you've just come from the last few fights. What What's the yeah. idea behind this fight? Is it like a warm-up for something big or what, what, what's the plan? Um, no, just keep me busy. It's just like a, a stay busy fight for myself um, and to keep me uh, active and, you know, getting out there and fighting in front of uh, a crowd and under the bright lights. So, yeah, just a, just a stay busy fight, I guess. Yeah, you're one of the very few heavyweights on uh, Eddie Hearn's roster as well. I know you, you, you're still with Eddie Hearn as well, and Tasman Fighters, and I think Gold Star involved with you as well. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're connected to all the right people. So, you know, what's your latest conversations with uh, with Eddie Hearn? Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I just, you know, I'm talking to my manager, I just want to uh, keep getting as many fights as I can under my belt. and. Uh, you know, because uh, the heavyweights that are in the top ten or in the top fifteen, they don't they see my record and stuff, and they say, "Oh, he's only ten and oh. You know, like it's too much risk for for them to be fighting me. So I just kind of want to get more experience under under my belt and have um, you know, more fights on my record uh, when I go into fight all of these um, bigger fights. You know the Kevin Lorano when you <clears throat> sure you realize how good that looks on your record now because uh he's yeah. struggling to get fights now. Yeah, he's uh man, he's he's very experienced. Like uh, for me for, for me going into my ninth fight, uh to be fighting a guy like him who's fought um other top heavyweights who put Daniel Dubois on his on his ass, um, yeah, it was massive. Um, so yeah, 
It's very good to have him on my on my resume. Yeah, like it get it gave you a hard fight. It gave Dubois a hard fight. Yeah. From what I'm seeing, it, like I think he was supposed to fight a Coley, but Coley's gone up to heavyweight. So I think he's just yeah. with opponents. Um, so yeah. Been, when you look back at that fight now, it's a really good win on your record. Well, what's the biggest thing you kind of learned about yourself as like as a, as a man and a, as a boxer walking away from that that fight? I took so much away from that fight. Eh? Um, positive and negative, like. There was so much positive that I took away from it, but at the same time, there was a lot of negatives um, and things that, you know, I had to fix up to be better moving forward. Because, um, yeah, it just, it wouldn't, like, fighting in bigger fights against, like, um, more, you know, bigger and heavy-handed guys, it, you know, they would have they would have just stopped me in... You know, I fought like that, so you know, I took a lot away from it, and I was, yeah, just happy I got the opportunity to, you know, perform on a stage like that, and um, you know, do it against him, Kevin Lorena. And then when you look at the rest of the heavyweight picture, who who have you got your eye on? Who do you think you could realistically like kind of put yourself towards in like in the next few months? Um, I don't really have my eye on any of the heavyweights at the moment. I'm just you know, kind of focusing on myself and, um, you know, trying to get as many fights as I can under my belt in the uh, coming year uh, so I can start. I want to start 2026 with at least 15, 15 fights under my belt um, and, you know, hopefully still have that zero next one. In. Okay, cool. Uh, just uh, a <sighs> win. Boxing talk, you know, I see like, you know, this new beard style that you've got. I know you've kind of had it before, but it looks a bit extra yeah. long. What's the inspiration? It's getting yeah. long. It's getting long. Uh, I'm going to shave it. I'm going to shave it off before my next fight. It's just, um, yeah, it's just something different. Something different. Because uh, I get kind of sick of looking at myself with no facial hair or anything. So, What's the inspiration? <laughs> I've never seen anyone with that style, just in a little bit of beard. Yeah, that. I just I just shave all of here and I just keep underneath my um underneath my chin. <laughs> What's your family <laughs> saying about it? I don't say anything. They they say I look all, all scruffy and I need to shave it off. Uh, but yeah, have you, have I need to shave it off before my next fight. Have you got any brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got one Bella, older Bella, and two older sisters. All right, so you're the youngest. Yeah, I'm the youngest, youngest of four. Well, and you're the only one that fights. Yeah, now uh, my brother, what used to um, fight, he had one professional fight, and then um, he gave it up just too too many injuries uh, for him. So yeah, just what, just me now. And what's it like being the youngest in the family? Uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I get uh, I get let off a lot of things. Um, but you know, I think that's just like uh, all families. The youngest always gets uh, spoiled. Uh, but yeah, good stuff. It is what it is. <sighs> last thing got your telly there in your bedroom. You know what? What you're watching at the moment? Yeah. What you What you playing? Oh, I just watch anything that's on Netflix. Uh, I'll. I never, I can never ever finish uh, a movie or anything. I just put it on before I go to bed and I just fall asleep to it. So I'm not really watching anything at the moment. Just, um, I just have it there just to put on before I go to sleep. Uh, and the, the last question to, uh, talking about that, you watch Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, and if so, what, what did you make yeah. of that? Uh, I just, I, I don't take anything away from either of them. You know, like, um, Mike Tyson is still a legend in my eyes. He was my first fight I looked up to when I turned professional. Uh, when I started boxing, um, and I still look up to him now. Still watch his videos, his fight videos back. So, you know, I, I think he's a, I think he's a legend, and to go out there and to be able to still, um, uh, you know, be able to do a fight camp and you know get that fitness at. 58 years old is uh, I just think that's crazy and uh, say good on him. good on him good on him for you know he made a lot of money for that fight and uh, yeah good on him 
good stuff. Well, Justice, I wish you'd <clears throat> be fighting in a couple of weeks. Uh, on Thank you, bro. 7th of December, isn't it? Um, all the best, mate. Uh, is it? 11th 11th, oh, it's 11th 11th of december yeah i yeah. got confused with the matchroom show then um, but yeah all <clears throat> mate and uh we'll hope thank you, you bro fight. yeah 100 percent. thank you bro appreciate Just, it take care brother take care